in decline and fall. Well, it sounds pretty flimsy, no more than a whimsy, by way of contrast on Wednesday last. I couldn't have liked it more. Starring Paul Nicholas and Jason Donovan as the Knights of the Round Table, Camelot is brought to Radio 2 at 7.30. You know, if you talk to all the British directors, the BBC was where they served their apprenticeship. And I think it's a great thing. There seems to have been a flood of people since then, younger people who are making these extraordinary movies, you know, about real things, touchy-feely things. But it's the film side I've always really had my eye on. As a matter of fact, we have a film out just now, Mrs. Brown. It was made for BBC. The producer told me about the idea and said, will you play John Brown against Judi Dench as Queen Victoria? I said, what? Of course I would. He said, will you come up to the BBC with me and talk to them about it? And here we are. It's a hit as a movie now in America and Britain and every place. Absolutely brilliant. Now on BBC Two, misread love signals and bitter rivalry. Our mutual friend. The story is rather more exciting than I supposed. John Harmon is drowned. The entire fortune to go to a dust man. As Harmon's only son is dead, the entire dust yard and the fortune goes to a Mr. Boffin. There used to be stories about him having hidden all sorts of property in them dust mounds. Probably you know that. Mr. Wegg, we should be rejoiced if your daughter can come to consider uh, our house, her house. We are considering, in the light of our changed circumstances... To go into go fashion. We seem to have a mutual friend. You are acquainted with our new lodger, Mr. Buffin. Bit of a mystery moment, dear. And will you always be there, Mr. Rokesmith, at the new house? Always, no. Very much there, yes. You get straight to school at once. What's all this, Liz? You'll do much better and you'll be much happier. You leave the river and father to me. But you must go. I'll give information that the man that done the harm and murder is Gaffer Exton. If we take the father, she will be left alone. 